All right, Darren Jones, I have an extremely random question for you. If there was a zombie apocalypse tomorrow, how would you prepare? I have no idea how I'd prepare because I need some sort of guideline from like a government body to give me <laughs> these preparations. Does that exist, oh, Deepa? Oh my gosh, Darren, I didn't think you would ask. <laughs> so the CDC, like the legit CDC, put out a zombie apocalypse page where they go through what to do if there's a zombie apocalypse and people are like, what the f Heck, and this is the Center for Disease Control. Yes. And we're in the middle of a pandemic. People are already on edge. Why did they do this? I don't understand why the CDC put this out. To me, it was so strange because, first of all, I was like, do they know something about COVID-19 and the <laughs> yes. infections that have been happening that we don't know? So I went into panic mode. I was like, World War Z is about to happen like now. But um, when you actually go through the page, I think it was more to get people like traffic to their website because people were intrigued like, oh my gosh, zombie apocalypse. Is it going to happen? How do you prepare? But they were like comparing it to other things like how to prepare for like her canes and you know this pandemic in general so well they, nevertheless nevertheless you know we should be prepared for everything yeah, and yeah. after 2020 and 2021 i think zombies could probably show up i wouldn't be surprised at this point so what do we need to know when the zombies arrive okay so first thing that you need is a uh you know a safety kit at home so water one gallon per person per day you need food you need medication tools and supplies sanitation and hygiene products clothing and bedding important documents <laughs> just in case you need to write your taxes sometime later in the year and first aid supplies so that's Tip number one. Okay, that's pretty basic stuff. That's very basic. Survival kit, fine. Okay, the next thing is family members, call them and find out a meeting place so that you guys can congregate and fight the zombies together. You wanna know where they're located, what street should you take, what street should you not take, and then. That's, that's, that would never happen. As soon as the zombies over on the city, it's over. You're like people. And can I ask you a question? Yeah. Because my wife and I have had this debate many times. We're both on the same page. You know how in zombie shows, there's two types of people. There are the people that fight through and want to like beat the zombies and keep living. Yeah. And then there are the people uh, who are content to like die in their beds and just like, that's it. I'm not going to try to go live in the woods. Oh. Which kind of person are you? Oh my gosh. This is very tough. I feel like I would be the person to fight the zombies wow. and live in the woods. Wow. I'm young. I've got a lot of life left in front of me. <laughs> I maybe, maybe not if the zombies show up. I don't know. I wouldn't give it up for them, but I'm like, they look way too easy to kill on these shows. Mm. Like, I disagree. I am 100% uh, running into the zombies. Let, they, let's are you just kidding end me? The, why, why am I going to run around the woods and try to figure but, out how to get water? and like have other people trying to kill me, never have a hot shower again. No, I'd rather just lay down and that's that. Wait, who said that you could never have a hot shower again? It doesn't exist after the what zombies. What if you beat Who's the zombies? The water? Who's heating the water? The Nobody. government, There's the no CDC. government, it's over. No, it's over. It's part of their prevention plan. No, there's no hot showers. <laughs> there's no electricity. There's nothing. You got to fight people who are trying to steal your stuff. You got zombies over here. You're in a constant state of terror. No, I'm laying in my bed. Boom, bingo, bango, that's you just, it. You just seem like a person that doesn't like challenges. I love challenges. This is not a challenge. This is nothing you could win. <laughs> hey, according to the CDC, with their prevention tips, it is something that you can overcome. Okay, what it's else like, do we need to know? That's literally their only tip. There's not, that's my point. There's no reason. No, if the zombies show up, there's no point in fighting because everyone's like, let's get in the car and go on the freeway. Yeah. There's cars everywhere. Traffic there's people jam. everywhere. There's no toilets. You can't get water. Snacks? No snacks. I guess that's fair. But then tree bark is always an option if you would like to go that route. But they were like, oh, I'm just reading off their website. If zombies did start roaming the streets, the CDC would conduct an investigation like they would do for any other pandemic. So they would find where the infection came from. How did it spread? They would implement isolation and quarantine. And I'm like, that sounds exactly like COVID-19. And nothing has helped us at this point, really, so. If the zombies show up, I cannot wait to be in heaven after I've laid down in front of them, watching you eat tree bark, <laughs> laughing my ass off. So, yeah, there she is. Don't she, worry, I'll be like, mm, good tree yeah, bark, You haven't had a warm meal in 395 days. Oh my goodness. I think I learned a lot about you today. <laughs> and I didn't know.